second public hearing on home rule or the alternative expenditure limitation. Um, the last election we had for home rule was in 2018 uh, for the fiscal year starting in 19 and 20 and we have been operating under uh, that home rule expenditure limitation for the last four years and that one is running out at the end of fiscal year 20 23 and so what we have for you is asking uh, council to approve tonight a resolution to place this next home rule election uh, on the ballot in November um, as we talked about at the last public hearing home rule or alternative expenditure limitation has nothing whatsoever to do with raising taxes it's simply to allow council to have control to spend the resources that we are already uh, have. And um, so it has nothing to do with the tax increase. Uh, the question has come up, what happens if we can't spend the money, because, the money because of budgetary limitations? Well, that money just stays in the bank. So it, it's not like we're gonna tax anybody else for it, it's just using the resources we're already getting. It's very important to us and um, at the last public hearing, I shared uh, some figures from the last four years that we had to keep this in perspective. For instance, for this current year, for 22-23, our budget is gonna be somewhere around 25 million. If we had to go by the state imposed limit, that limit is 6,171,000. So we would be just under um, 19 million short, and we would have to try to come up and calculate exclusions to get our budget under that limit. The exclusion calculation is very difficult and um, it, it's not easy to deal with. So it'd be much easier if we had the home rule in place if the voters approve it. Um, I also have a chart in your packet tonight that lists um, all the cities and towns according to the uh, League of Arizona Cities and in their listing, there's 94 cities and towns. Um, 81 of those have some sort of home rule, uh, alter alternative expenditure limitation, or they have a permanent base adjustment. There's only 13 that do not. So that tells you how widespread it is, and we very much need this to be able to use the resources we have. Do you have any questions for Kevin? Um, before we call for a motion, I would just like to remind the council that the publicity pamphlet goes out before the election, and you can put an argument, pro or con, and I believe the fee is $200 if anybody is interested in writing something. Um, I know last time there were two pros and no cons, so I think it's kind of nice that we have something in there. So, if there's no discussion, no other discussion questions, Councilor Buse? No, I was going to. Uh, I 
move to approve and adopt resolution number 22 16 17 proposing an extension of the alternative expenditure limitation home rule option for the town of Pine Second. Thank you. We have a motion and a second. All in favor, please signify by raising your right hand. Councillor Craigbaum? Aye. Thank you. That carries unanimously. Okay. There's no further business before us tonight. We're adjourned. Thank you, guys.